You're needed. Can you? Yep. This is the construction site where Malik thinks Emma Child is holding our operative, which checks out. Security's tighter than a rubber glove and a bowling ball. Grand. I have a call from... Strange? This isn't what... Stop! You fucking idiots! Who would have focused this? Emma Child, director of SIRS Counterterrorism. You are making a terrible error here. You cannot... Get off my voice channel. Apologies, everyone. Took a moment to work out how they hacked us. No harm done. On the plus side, it seems Malik's lead was good. It's likely she'll keep our operative close to use as leverage. You should find him wherever you find child. I could have left a fucking bomb in there. Do you want to know why I didn't? Because I like cryptic questions. Because we have something in common. Richard Malik stabbed both of us in the back. Watch. Albion's new policing contract has promised. Everything's set your end. Oh, it will be. But first you're going to tell me what this is really about. All right. I'm infiltrating a terrorist group called DeadSec. I'm setting up a meeting with them, and your men will capture me before DeadSec arrives. So it has to look real. They can't know it's a setup. You are a piece of work, Richard. What the hell are you getting out of this? Dead terrorists. I can't prove it yet, but I think Malik was involved in the bombings and the cover-up. What's more, I think he and his conspirators are planning to do it again. 
exactly what he said about you. He would. It's basic tradecraft. Want to sell a lie, weave it into the truth. And we're just supposed to trust you instead? I had something more transactional in mind. I have your operative. Help me kill Malik, and you get them back. That door will unlock in 30 seconds. Impossible to say for sure, but it does look that way. We do know for sure that he's trying to set us up for the next attack. You know how I feel, but this is risky. It has to be your call. I don't take this lightly, but I think we should kill him. It gets our friends back and takes a threat off the board. It's a good fucking move. Okay, how do we do this? If you're seriously asking how to kill Malik, I have ideas. A lot of ideas. I want to keep it simple. Let's just get him in the open and... Yes, that would work, but it's not very much fun. But you want to poison him, at least. We haven't poisoned anybody yet. Julie noted, Bagley. But for now, let's stick with the sniper plan. Noted. I'll contact Child and tell her DedSec has agreed to help. I have Malik for you. Remember you want to convince him to meet you somewhere public so we can install some air cooling in his skull. All right, let's do this. Do you have ever child? No, the situation's fucked. Can we meet in person? What happened? She saw us coming, which could mean she's got someone inside. We need to meet. Maybe Piccadilly? No, no, Piccadilly's crawling with Albion. How about Trafalgar Square? Bagley, what do you think? Trafalgar Square is optimal. Good, it's decided. I'll see you soon. He's disconnected. Suits me. Connect me to Child. I'm getting our friend back. Capital. Yes. What? Malik's good as dead. Bagley will fill it in. Now where's our operative? You can have them when Richard is dead. Fuck you. Give them back now or we're out. Fine. As a show of trust, I'll order a hot drop at a random location. I will not, however, waste anyone covering them. So get there fast if you want them back in one piece. in pursuit and coming back. Thank you. There's our missing friend. Uncuff them and send them back to the safe house. You all right there? Blood, you know me. I'm not scared of being locked up. Not by Emma Child. Not by anybody. I'm a bounce if that's cool. Fantastic. Splendid. As soon as they return, I'll be sure to issue them a pair of fresh underpants. Now, let's get someone over to Trafalgar Square. Agreed. Time to end this. Emma Child for you. Good. I can see you. Let's go over the plan. The Canadians loaned me an office across the square, so I can keep an eye on you. God bless the Commonwealth. So, here's what's going to happen. There are four snipers covering the angles. Here, 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 and here. Your job is to locate Malik. And when you're sure it's him, scratch your eyebrow. That confirms the target. Then count to two and duck. So what's to stop you from killing me too? I've seen what you people are capable of when you're pissed off. If you don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with you. How does that sound? All right, let's do this. Fire team leader, report. No sign of Malik, Mum. Nice clear shot on this dead sick prick, though. Don't tempt me. Fuck. Where the hell is he? Oh, 
Oh, I don't fucking like this, bruv. I don't like it either. Shit. I don't have a filament terminal in here. I'll have to request one. Bear with me. This will take a while. Bagley, help up, bruv. Oh, if only every person in London was required to wear a piece of high-tech surveillance equipment. Start hacking optics, and I'll see if any of them caught sight of Malik. Ah, uh, cool. I'm all over it. Like your latest victim was wearing a body cam. I'll scan its hard drive and see if it got a look at Malik. Suspect is unsighted, unsighted sweeping area. That's him by the litter bin. He's either leaving a dead drop or trying to eat out on the cheap. What the shit is happening? Fuck. Malik may be doing his laundry. It's a technique for losing a surveillance team. If so, that dead drop has a second meeting location in it. What, is he on to us? I don't think so. He'd vanish if he thought there was a real threat. I'll put the shooters on standby while we readjust. Searching data exhaust. Nothing. Try someone else. GPS data indicates this person wasn't in the area during the relevant period. Try again. Fuck, what is happening? Did you really think I could be outsmarted by Nigel Bloody Cass? <laughs> he recorded that meeting because I wanted him to. It got to Emma Child because I wanted it to. And now law enforcement has full profiles on all of you. Oh. If you want to live, get on the ground and put your hands on your head. You can shove it the miles up your ass, you dickhead. No, no, you, you misunderstand. I meant so the shrapnel doesn't hit you.
control. We are pursuing the target. to sort out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? So, it's on me then. All right. Uh, problem? I've just noticed a wanted alert on my optic out of nowhere. What's going on? Yeah, same here. What the heck? It seems Malik wasn't bluffing. Your faces are all over the news, and not in a cool way. Fucking Christ! All right, Baggy, get everyone together at the safe house. We have to debrief. Well, looks like I can hold me on with all you DedSec resistance fighters after all. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Right. Guess I'll take that as a compliment, Bagley. Don't mind Bagley. He's the best. Gets us out of most scrapes. You did good. Message for dead sake. I believe Richard Malik is about to murder me in some gruesome way. If you see Malik, tell him I. Canada House was destroyed by a series of explosions, and an individual known to be part of the dead sec organization was seen on CCTV attempting to flee the area. SIRS new director of counterterrorism Richard Malik issued the following statement. I call upon my counterparts around the world to treat the dead sec threat with all due vigilance. They are not a resistance. What are they resisting? They are an international terrorist militia. And along with my counterparts in the Five Eyes Nations, I am building an... You get the idea. You're fucked. He hit us, let's hit him back, and make sure that cunt doesn't get back up. Yes, I wouldn't recommend that. All scenarios show DedSec's odds of survival approaching zero before he can be found. Malik probably worked out the same thing. Yeah, a couple of us had a thought about that, actually. Bagley, kick it. Done. The working theory is this. Blowing up a government building like Canada House would require bribes, an infiltration team, materiel, and so on. Doing it without leaving a paper trail would be impossible. Some of you nicknamed this paper trail the Malik Dossier. We're going to break into SRS headquarters, steal it, and prove Malik was behind the bombing. If we're lucky, we might even find some details on Zero Day. Your missions list has been updated. Hey, one more thing. I know Malik's currently our best lead on Zero Day and the bombings, but he's fucking dangerous. If you see him, don't try to take him alive. It's not worth it. On the contrary, I think what Malik knows about Zero Day and the bombings outweighs the well-being of any individual operative. Malik ought to be taken alive and interrogated. Your comrade is now taking an Albion-mandated timeout. You're up. Not funny, Bagley. This is serious. Let's get it done. Oh, that's fucking fire! In order to access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building's security systems. I don't... Sorry, channel is being hacked. 
I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their MO. What are you talking about? I want DeadSec gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. Join Zero Day. I'd rather join Albion. Zero Day? You know, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I value. What about you? Don't you fucking dare lecture me about ideology, you fascist prick. Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access.
Well, shit, we've been locked out. Oh, and it seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. I'm sorry, what? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Any ideas? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. to the server. Any ideas? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. So we're gonna unplug it and plug it back in? Close enough. Look at this! A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bombs were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable and motion sick. <laughs> Fuck off, you stupid drone. This isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. this drone down. I'd love to get the lightning to go away, but I'm afraid I don't speak dipshit. This microwave drone has been hanging around so long I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her?
Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report for two SIRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the Secretary. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail? And that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Bugger off, you clinging little bastard. No, I am not your new daddy. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. have here, straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little side-ops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Nice work, Bagley. Now let's smash this fascist. With pleasure. integrated with filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Get him. All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh no, it worked. Oi, what the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto-drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. So what now? I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberystwyth Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear Deadsec's name. At least for this particular thing. What about Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Can someone explain why we aren't having that car drive straight into the river? Believe me, I'd love to, but he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! I've been monitoring the drone network. Mary Kelly has finally sent out the invitations to her slave market sale. Dedzek, it's Caitlin Lau. This is your specialty. Hack one of those drones and get the location where she's selling those poor microchipped people. Let's put an end to this. 
Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. Well, that was simple, even for you. Give me a moment to decipher the security codes. So, Bagley, what do you have? Mary Kelly is holding her sale at Hackney Baths. Opened in 1904, it was, as the name implies, a public sanitation facility. In today's more enlightened modern times, it's a slave trading market. She mentioned foreign investors, so this is big. It means associates, clients, employees, anyone remotely involved in an organization. We're taking Mary Kelly down from within. Inspector Lau wants to take her case against Mary Kelly to a contact in the Attorney General's office, which means gathering as much data as we can to make sure it has the leverage needed for them to prosecute. The microchips are a huge part of this equation that we know almost nothing about. We need something tangible about these things. See if you can find anything. Blueprints, receipts, samples. So, the plan is simple. Crash the Kelly's soiree, find out as much as you can, and, minor detail, try not to get killed. Can't be we know you false flagged Canada House, Malik. And we know you had a hand in the earlier bombings, too. Tell us everything. The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank. Even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power. And fast. So how did you know about Zero Day before contacting us? I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Yeah, we've been down that road. Meanwhile, you're rot in here. You've done more than enough to deserve it. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you've created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. <laughs>